Bojack. Hey up, how's it doing? And welcome to Skulljack. So we are at the Huddersfield Regional. Uh, bear in mind that this is before the latest Most Wanted update. So, Wildside, David, Faust. They're all breaking uh, yeah. breaking news. You wouldn't be able to splash Desperado. Well, you might be able to. Ah, uh, it's pretty tough. Well, so let, we're straight into this game, and um, we've got a GFI straight off R and D. And there's a fast track. So Ice HQ, Ice Remote, stick something in it. Mm. Not sure what's in it. Mm, could easily be a Sansan, or even just setting off with a Bernie Smy. It's the typical um, sync build that Dylan. Uh, has been using and obviously he's not really bothered about that GFI steel to begin with because let's face it he's just going to swap it for a breaking news eventually true and Ooh, there's the Astro out the Astro so yeah you take that trade all day long yeah absolutely and Phil's got a wild side going as well so he's already at least getting the draw going which is quite important in these both players getting this match going yeah ooh making an entrance uh, yeah great card I feel like it's going to be a card you're going to see maybe a bit more of now that draw options. Yeah, because if you don't go the wild side route, mm. you, you might be tempted to go inject dive ad worse and make an entrance to make up for it and just go super fast. Keeping his economy. Yeah. Uh, just then. good for getting rid of those duplicates as well. Yep. Yeah. Just see those cards that you, you need to see. Mm -hmm. Just even just setting up your wild side draws as well. Mm. Which is always yeah, that's nice. true. So Sync's always a bit of a tough one for Wizard because it's it's able to tax him quite heavily. Yeah, there's a Sun Sun. Ooh. Chooses not to trash it. Mm, well, with know. the Astro already scarred, yeah. it's sometimes a little bit. And Wizard needs his money right now. Yeah, he does. Especially with that Liberated in hand. So I think he's got a Dirty Laundry though. Maybe? I thought I saw a Dirty Laundry. I think it might have been one of the... Uh, the oh, staff. they're making an entrance maybe, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's Data Pike. A great little piece of ice, especially for like Faust to deal with. Mm. Um, what is it? A two credit, a, a credit and two cards. Yeah, it's awful. There's the Jackson, and of Get course he dies. Get rid of that. Wizard scrubs it. So install the Sansan, I imagine. Where, where? How much runner is, uh, money is the carp got? I can't tell. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why Dylan's giving his money. Dylan, where's your money, boy? Um, I hope it's not off-screen, because it's going to be kind of awkward. I think it is Yes, I think it is off-screen. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just had no money. No money. <laughs> <laughs> There's the sweet sweep, though. Perfect for getting back. And with Wildside running, that hand's always going to be full. There's the Dirty Laundry. So, Dirty Laundry R&D, I imagine. And he got rid of Wildside as well. I was just wondering why. He had ah, nice. Well, it's because he hit the... Uh, Hit the turnpike with only two credits. Yeah, uh, and there's Another the sand sand, but he can't scrub that one. So after you've stolen the GFI against Sync, you mm. really want to close out the game as fast as possible. Yeah, you really do. Although I think that's going to be a little bit more difficult for Phil now that he's just lost Wildside. Bit of a tempo hit. And also he trashed another one as well, so there's only one more left in his deck as well, so that's going to be a lot of manual drawing for Phil from now on. Did he take the tag from Turnpike? Yeah, he did. He yeah. didn't have enough money. It's like choice five on Turnpike or something. <laughs> Turnpike's pretty brutal, I've seen. No, it, is, it is a good a good little piece of ice. Just able to get that credit gap going. Like, like you said, like two cards and a credit for Faust is like nothing to sniff at, considering it's two to res. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even when you've got Mimic out, it's still too, too to break. So he's tagged, but he's installed as Liberated, but that's fine if he just man if he just blasts it and then uh, just leaves one on it. I imagine we need to tag. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh no, he does. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, you would at that point. Sometimes it's not bad to just clear a Libs and then leave one on it and let him trash it, but with Liberated, that heavy install, you kind of want to clear it all. It's not like an Armitage where you're just happy to let them trash it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you've already got limited hits on it, but I think it's because he drew it and then uh, they need to install it to get that money going. 
Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay, I was worried we were recording then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're even better off that. Yep. Uh, the cops down to one credit again, though. Hmm. Yeah, you've, you've literally only seen sweeps week so far. There's the casts. It's got the uh, Corona type in hand, which is unfortunate about like, Wild Side yeah. going. I think that's probably going to get trashed at some point. It's not really necessary at this point. There it goes. Ooh, Arkham's interface as well. Yeah, a good. Uh, not a bad include. I can't. I struggle to find the space for it, personally. It's always the 46th or 47th car that's just... It's a good ability, but it's not so necessary that you want to include it. But there are these little situations like right now when he's got a Jackson in the bin. Mm. Just get rid of it, so... Can't even get him back. Yeah, especially good when you got Desperado as well, so you're gaining a credit for getting stuff out of the game. And, you know, if you've got Data Sucker as well, then at least you're getting a lot of benefit from it. There's the Faust. There's Faust. But without the wild side, Faust is a little bit harder to use. Mm. Once, yeah, not a nice piece of ice to Faust, so gets rid of it. Yeah, I guess that cast going. What's is Turnpike 3 strength? Yeah, it's three strength. Yeah. yeah. Still going to be a couple of turns then before it goes. I mean, even once it's got one counter on it, it's, it's a, cre- a card and a credit for Faust, which is. Yeah. Bit better. You can, you can allow that. Mm-hmm. So Dylan just... Uh, is it Dylan? He is Dylan. Uh, money in up? Yeah, finally back in the money. Managed to find a couple of hedge funds. So both players just building at the moment? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the sound sound in that server. Yeah. Probably nothing special defending it. It's probably, let's face it, a, ra- a data raven. Because mm-hmm. this thing does run three data ravens. Yeah, it's really just any kind of... Uh, anything you can score through that sound sound is just a bonus, really. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I haven't been able to see his hand, but I would have thought if he's... At this point, if he's able to score agendas, I'm mm. try and push him through. Yeah, it would be a good time to push the action. I mean, if anything, he might actually... He's got the money now. He's got, what, uh, 3, 6, 9, 10, 13 credits. I mean, that's enough just to push through, save the Astro counter, use the San San, score the break he needs and swap it for a GFI. Even if it's just to save that Astro counter, because then you're on, I, they're on five points and you've got the Astro counter to score that last 3-2. More money. see what's in Dylan Hound. Sort of psychographics, but probably irrelevant at this point. Yeah, Sync use that psycho just a fast advance of 3-2 normally, don't they? Yeah, yeah. It's rare that the, that anyone's anyone gets anywhere near enough tags to be able to use it on a BL or anything like that. It's usually just as a fast advance tool. So even when they've got two tags, it's basically the same as a biotic labour at that point. Yeah, there's Faust. There's Mr. Faust. Spending no money with Faust, Desperado should uh, do some work. Yeah. But I think the days of that are long gone. Yeah, splashing Desperado nowadays, a little bit harder. A little bit harder. I mean, imagine if you're doing a, like a fixed breaker sweep, Desperado might be pretty good. Yes, yeah. I mean, you're not then spending. Yeah, you've got the influence to spare for Faust. Well, you're not spending on Faust. Well, I think the meta's still kind of up in the air as to what Anox want to be doing with their Breaker Suite at this point. Yep, yep. Is it the uh, Reading Regional we've still got to go? It's uh, tomorrow. For, what day is it today? Thursday. It's yeah, this Saturday. It's gonna be interesting to see what uh, what comes of it. Yeah, it should be quite telling. Because I uh, I think. That Anax still can do the uh, the whole Faust thing. They've just got to be. That's got to be the only thing they're really doing. I think so. Yeah. The, the issue is is that you're you're either including tech or you're including clone ship at that point. And clone ship does improve your options and does make things easier, especially in terms of David recursion. But I feel like with these Sandcastle decks that are using Sandberg and ridiculous 
ridiculously high strength dice. You kind of need Pollock just to be able to get rid of those tech cards. But getting rid of that Dave Raven with a forked is quite helpful in this case. Dave Raven with one, like as a wizard player myself, Dave Raven is a really annoying piece of ice to have to get rid of. Or have to deal with at least. So being able to get rid of that once and now he's got an open R&D at this point. I think it was a... Um, uh, I forgot the name of it now. Resistor? We saw off top. I thought it was a Gutenberg. But it might have been a Resistor. I think it was a Resistor. So, we're going in an Ashra. Yep. So, we're going to push this through the Sand Sand. I was going to say, is he just going to just have a fast open his deck? Yep. I mean, that's a pretty good shout. I, I mean, reckon he's got the money to do it at this point. It's one of the great powers of Astra. Like, you can Astra out an Astra yeah. and still have an Astra counter. <laughs> Astra, Astra, Astra. Uh, not in this case, though. If he's gonna, if he's gonna raise that Sand Sand, yeah, he's just gonna score it off his off his deck. Yeah, and then have an Astra counter. Oh, oh right, yeah. Sorry, misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, pretty good play there. You're not going to be seeing that anymore. No, you're really not. Thank God. Yeah, because if you did that with a Beal, it's significantly less impactful. I mean, you can still do that to close out the game now. Oh, yeah, obviously closing yeah. out the game. But in, being in a position of four points... Four points with an Astro counter. That's, and, and a Res Sound Sound, which, let's face it, you probably can't get into that server easily. I was, I was meaning um, with Astro being unique, mm. if you tried to score a Beal, it's just that you've not really put yourself in a very good position there. Um... Like scoring, a, you're not going to score a Beal out of deck, are you? Through, through a Sansan. San. If you're worried about turntable, you might just to get rid of that Astro counter. Are people going to be running turntable? I mean, it's still a very good console. Uh, why? Because like it can it like it can win you games. It's it's still like, very against what? It, I mean, when like if they're running, if they're running uh, high value agendas, or even just to get rid of agendas that have. Um, Tokens on them, like Nisei counters. Nisei's going to be around for a while. Uh, yeah, Nisei, Nisei is a good one, but like with Astro being unique, I think Turntable is significantly less good. Um, I mean, in terms of the meta, yes, but I still think it's useful. But I, I will agree with you that now people are going to be moving away from Wizard and Noise. You might see like Null decks are more likely going to be using Grimoire unless he happens to get a console, but I don't think we'll be seeing a console for Null at this point. So archive memory is the fast track. Ooh. I think we can tell what's going to happen next turn. Yep, that's probably just going to be breaking news, and then exchange that information. Running under a lot of pressure here. There's that resistor. The turning wheel still gains a counter though. The turning wheel should gain a counter. And a resistor. Oh, great. Hooray. Resistor quite an annoying little piece of ice. Obviously not so bad for Corroda. Fast track, breaking news. you got to imagine. Yep, yep there it is. Doesn't so uh, even need to advance it, technically. Yep. There you go. That were a good game. Yeah, very well played. Yeah. Very well played. We just didn't give Wizard the time. I think, honestly, I think that wild side trash at the beginning was, yes. was very key for yeah, it. Yeah, 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 I agree with that. Because so. you saw he had the chronotype. He yep. could have at least got the, his engine going. I think it was just, he maybe was a little bit overzealous in terms of running with, because he ran with two credits, which mm -hmm. is always dangerous. Because it means, like, against... Against Sync, you always want to be uh, finishing one with at least three credits just so you can check that tag. Yeah, uh, you didn't even need the Astro counter you just said there, but because um, you had the Sun Sun, so yeah. you needed to advance the breaking news once. Yeah. Yep, so that was that, and we're moving on to the reverse matchup. Which I believe is going to be NEH versus Kate. Kate. Nice, nice alternate Kate. It's a good Kate deck, this, game, this deck. I saw him playing it a few times. It's, uh, is it prepaid? It is not prepaid. I don't. No, it's not prepaid. Uh, it's just, it's just really just good stuff, Kate. Really. Mm. So you expect she's running clot. Yeah. 
So the NEH needs to be prepared to play the clock dance. Those Cyberdex virus suites are very key. I believe he's running very much a spam deck, if I remember his deck correctly. I say spam. Yeah. Yeah, very popular. Yeah, there was a lot of there was a lot of those going around. But the the two flavors of any age you saw was either it was either spam or it was uh, fast Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as far as Rumi Dillon's, it's, uh, it's just good stuff. Kate, with it's mainly kind of like engineers, just uh, pre um, not pre uh, pro cons. Yeah, pro cons really uh, shining as shaper economy mm. of late. It's a tough matchup for any H. Mm, it always is. Against any shaper that's running clock, well, I mean, it's kind of one of the same at this point, but it's always going to be difficult because you have to play that clock dance, so it's very much protecting, you know, protecting your CBSs. Able to, if you're able to get those scores out early, if you can sneak one out early enough, like try and get that first Astro going. Once you get that first Astro out of any H, it makes things so much easier. Yeah, because then a bit of bullshittery can happen. Indeed, yeah. With Sun Sands and... Cyber Nexus. Yeah, hello. That's not a bad opening hand from. What's that? That is shit from San 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 San. Is that Mumba two Mumba Temples? Temples? I think two Mumba Temples in a Mumbad City Hall. It's funny seeing Shipman and Mumba in the same deck. I mean, oh no, that's a pack campaign. But I mean, and you say that, but uh, Shipman from San San is moderate clock tech. Yeah, no, it's. Uh, I like it as clock tech. It's just that you normally see it in the more like race carry type. Uh, type decks. Yeah, yeah, no, I suppose. Well, asset spam can has got that thing of install three things. Yeah. One of them's an agenda. Never advance it. I think so. I saw as well though that he was running Sensi Actors Union and Daily Business Show. Whoa! Which is that's some intense filter. See him the pieces. So show gamble pro cons for the runner. I mean, you can't really be more happy. Than yeah, that. that's about as good a first turn you can get in terms of your money out of Shaper. And everything's rezzed. Jeez. Oh, steady. A road card has flown. So we got Cyberdex, Sweep Sweep, Pads. Bunch of crap, really. I think there was an Exploder in there. Potentially. One agenda out of the five's not, not bad. So, do you have to put something to the bottom, don't you? We you have to. Yeah. yeah. Mumba Temple being on the uh, most wanted list now, don't think it changes a lot? I don't think it changes a lot. It makes it a little bit more difficult for these kind of spam decks. Just I think the spam decks find the room for it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You, yeah. I think it's too good not to, eat, well, not to go for because one of the natural combinations you saw was Mumbo Temple, Museum, and then Mumbad City Hall as well. Yeah. And it probably just means that you're not going to run as many museums and you're not going to run Mumbad City Hall because you need the influence. You're going to have to use the influence you would have had on City Hall mm. on the temples. That's fair enough. So, Proko, Proko, Proko for the runner. Lots of Prokos. Yep. Just essentially, Proko just essentially doubling your click efficiency. Sensei can't live. Yeah, no. must die. Stuff are not the Sensei actors you need to live. Mm. Although when I was playing Fisk, uh, someone used Sensei against me, and I just laughed. Oh and yeah, no. And then they stopped using it. Yeah, do it all day. <laughs> Please do it all day. <laughs> There's the DBS. DBS. Yeah, it's well. I mean, that's quite. That's like, I imagine he's running two of each. I don't <clears> think he'd be running a full three of each. But mm. even then, that's still a fair amount of deck slots to be putting into essentially card. Draw and yeah, I suppose it's draw and then it kind of filter, filter in it. Yeah, how, how many uh, card filter? How many cards do you need to filter your deck before you need to filter the filter cards from your deck? I suppose, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> but with uh, with Sensi's being only two to trash, it's... that's true. Because with Sensi as well as you like, you would expect to use that once, and even then, it's pretty good once you draw three cards and yeah. put one to the bottom. Yeah, oh, I think Phil accidentally saw that top card, so I'm shuffling it back in. How many cards 
So I guess I take the two bottom two cards. Oh, uh, right, just, just discussing how they're going to Yeah, we've got a bit of a, a gentleman's agreement on yeah, what to do. Yeah, he saw the top cards, so he's going to put that back, but he specifically put two, Sensi and DBS cards to the bottom. So he's going to pop Jackson just to revo <laughs> just to make it easier for yeah. everybody. I think that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I think a similar ha thing happened to, um, to Phil in my game, and I just said, no, nah, don't worry about it, shuffle it back. Yeah, a bit awkward when things are being put at the bottom, though. Yeah, it does make it a little bit more complicated. And Kate's, Kate's clearly running three, showing off, so... <laughs> doesn't want that to happen. <laughs> a natural splash. Oh, there's, there's the hyper driver. driver. Beautiful. A fabulous tempo card. Mm. Fabulous. Fabulous. It really is, though. Even if it's just like you're not doing anything specific in terms of like yeah. you're not making any specific plays, it's just you've got seven clicks. Yeah. Just to do what you need to do. And it's like one of the few times I have played it, because you know, usually just counting your head, you go one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. and then you're just like, oh, I've still got three more. Yeah. Like, what can I do with all this? It is good for like closing out those games, especially when you can do uh, like just get some economy, make a run, probably indexing, and then use those extra clicks to be able to go to play, say, freedom for equality, and then get back in just to close out the game. Mm. Or even just simply as moneying up yeah. and running. Like, just, broco, 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 run. Yeah, pretty much. And then you've still got... Like, cl clicks are just what you make of them. Oh, yeah, like, no, absolutely. I mean, you can even call it, like, hyperdriver. You could, like, I can break an Eli with this hyperdriver. Oh, yeah. One credit, break an Eli. Yep, yeah, sure. And have a click left over. That's fine. I can break this jam. <laughs> yeah. So running out of space on his map, <laughs> as asset spam tends to do. It does happen fairly quickly with asset spam. So really, just uh, levering these uh, remotes out. And uh, we have seven clicks. Yep. You got to imagine he's a. Uh, going to mostly use them to set up at this stage. Proco, 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 proco. Because you can draw so many cards and then play them all. Yeah. See, this is what's great about Hyperdriver. It's just made him four credits, four cards, and he's still got three clicks left. Like, it's, it's wonderful. It's a card I very much like to experiment if I actually play Shaver at all. Right, pro card five times in a row now. Jeez. Oh. Boom! And you want to pro card some more, bro? <laughs> more like bro cards. Bro card. <laughs> Professional contacts. <laughs> I think it's almost just that in this case he's just been able to filter whatever he needs at this point. Yeah, yeah, because Shapers obviously can just dump any programs yeah. and stuff in the bin. They can dump anything really since yeah. they've got Levy. It's just what do you need now? Yeah. Ooh, running Parasite. Ooh, cheeky Parasite. Yeah, you, you don't often see Shapers run the Parasite nowadays. Or one of Stim Hack. Yeah, well, Stim Hack's almost. Don't really. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty ubiquitous, but I don't think he needs it at this point in this game. Yeah. Just and you can, he's got the uh, same old thing on the board. Yeah. So if he needs that surprise econ, he's got it there. Just getting ready for that hyper driver next turn as well. Yep, I imagine he's just going to pop it straight away again. 14 clicks across two turns. I mean, that's a lot of setting up. And shapers need to set up. Mm -hmm. I'm, I've been really struggling with Shaper Economy lately, but just seeing Proco do work here makes me just want to go back to it. It's just because it's a resource and I don't want it to be trashed. Yeah, that's and I'm so scared of tra uh, tags at the moment because NBN are like all in on it. Oh, I know, and that's the thing we're going to be seeing. NBN is going to be more more about tags from yeah. now on as well. And I expect NBN to still be about even with fast advance being nerfed like NBN as a faction should still be represented oh yeah they've got a lot of good cards yeah I mean with controlling the meshes coming out recently it's it's a it's a good idea mm. so I'm just so worried about Proco but with breaking news being on the most wanted mm. list there's less chance of it just being sniped early oh but it's doing so much work here it's but I have to say like looking at looking at his board state right now mm. he is ripe for an all seeing eye Yes, but it's a it's a it's a 
I mean, Dylan's a very good player. I've, I've seen, I've, I don't believe really you know him very well, but I've seen him around the Metro for a long time. And he's a very good player, and he's, uh, he has to be at least just to be able to play with that many resources in a meta that's. You have to expect that. You have to respect that every yellow deck is probably running or considers running an all seeing eye. Mm. Just because of the punishment you can get from tags at that point. Yeah, that Astrolabe should start doing some work as well. I mean, it's, mm, it's probably a little bit late at this point. You'll, you'll We've still see, got quite a bit of the game left. Oh, yeah. And if any age is going to make new Ooh. remotes, then. Well, I mean, I'm he's got double DBS that. now, so he certainly is. Yeah, that's true. Super filter. Yep. Yeah, I never came up against DBS when I was Fisk. That might have been funny. That Inti on the board I always like to see because uh, Lady was so prevalent for so long mm. Inti never ever got a look in but now that one influence it means that Shaper tend to go the one Inti especially if he's running like maybe a David style build then the Inti's for the wraparound more it's, just a, it's, it's an excellent cheap solution to get through wraparound mm -hmm. just because you I mean, I don't think I think you may see maybe a little bit less into now that MBM won't be quite as prevalent. But at the same time, it's still always going to be a good. You're always going to consider it in a Shaper deck just because it's it's just such a, like it's such a good card. Well, it's okay. It's not a great card. It's good. I mean, it's good for those like, early getting through early barriers. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not a great card, to say as Lady though. Oh, good luck. Like, <clears throat> it's a, it's a good early it game does, solution it, for getting into. It's those... great for what it does. <clears throat> Zero cost, one strength. I mean. That's pretty good. Yeah. You don't really see uh, stacked barriers, though, do you? I mean, unless you're against Wayland, and even then. Even then, yeah. Like, what you're gonna, like, what they're gonna stack? Yeah, I suppose. And if it's like a nice wall curtain, well, then that literally doesn't. Really it doesn't. Yeah, it makes no difference at that point. Yeah. I think it's just uh, it's just good at being just a cheap uh, gear check solution. So when mm -hmm. they just res that ice wall, it means yeah, it's going to yeah. cost me. And even vanilla nowadays. Oh yeah, like, yeah I'm you, you're seeing more of that everywhere. Mm. Especially now that parasites can be less prevalent as well. Mm -hmm. And it, it never get never needs you never need to bump into your, like massive strength anyway because you should got that atman at four and yeah. maybe a chameleon hanging around to help things out. But yeah, can we seeing a score here? Dylan has been quite unlucky. I don't think he hasn't seen an SMC yet, so he wasn't able to threaten that clock. Mm. Yeah, drawn a lot of cards, but both players have, to be fair. Ooh, blimey. Oh, my goodness. So, all we've got temples. some filth going on here. All the temples. This is why it went on the list. This is why it went the on temples the temples resing temples. Temples resing temples. I mean, he just gained, essentially, what, three free credits from that? Mm. Shipment from Sansan. I mean... Do you need to shipment from Sansan? I mean, it's, I suppose it's a money card at that point, but... Yeah, I and mean, it keeps them afloat at that point. Yeah, but you've got to expect the clot, and as you said, it's good clot tech. True, true. I mean, it would have been tempted to keep it, I think. But is it an Astro? Yes, yeah, it counter, is. Yeah. So, whatevs. Yep. As long as the Astro has scarred, nobody really cares. In this case, I might have been tempted. I don't know. I don't know how much ice that Phil is running here, but I might have been tempted just to put something in front of that San San. I know what you mean because the runner is rolling in economy. Yeah. But with that first Astro scarred, mm. the runner is often well. I was just about to uh, say the runner is often dissuaded from trashing the San San, but there it goes. No, nah, I don't. I don't think you let because that means that he gets just score a BL, Yeah. Well, not even that. Just score another Astro, and then you've got two Astro counters, and that's. Yeah, pretty disgusting. Oh, fast advance of breaking news and kill your pro card. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't got a lot of money though. There's Phil. I, know, I suppose he's got the mumble temples. temples. What exactly. am I on about? Yeah, he's got. He's got. Your ice is free. He's got eight credits and yeah, six recur six recurring credits for yeah. resin cards. Filthy. How much is Archangel to res? Four. <laughs> Because someone <laughs> thought that was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> if they maybe done what they've done with Chrysalis and given uh, Archangel a trash cost. No, I think Archangel's fine as mm. it is. 
It's a difficult piece of ice. Oh, we got the other Astro. Another Astro. Yep. Yep. Jeez. Choo choo. Astro Train has left the station. I didn't really wish you could see us SMC right now. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy just like, now that Astro is unique, it's crazy just watching how. How was this allowed for so long? You do wonder. Like, now, they've, now they've done it, it's like, <laughs> how did they, like, yeah. How was this a thing for so long? I mean, they tried to temper it with putting Astro on the list, but even then it's yeah. like... You always pay that influence. Yeah. You pay two influence. I mean, yeah, you would. You would. You would. <laughs> like, you're paying two influence. You're paying two influence in the faction that has... The, Undoubtedly, across the board, some of the best cards in the game. Yeah, and Arata was was one of the only ways. I think so. Yeah, I think it was inevitable that it was going to be one per. Oh, so there's the shipment going back, which mm -hmm. is nice. Do you think if they made it two per deck, it would have made a difference? Uh, I found no, Dad. I prefer the one. Mm. In all honesty, because it firmly derails the train. It because is. before you could go, you might be able to go Astro, Astro, Beal, Breaking News. Oh, yeah, yeah, and still right. just fast advance yeah. the entire lot. <laughs> so we got a run on R&D, and we're getting something beastly rezzed here. Something be I think that's a toll booth. Oh, yeah, it has to be. Toll booth, there Bo we go. This is an indexing one as well, so... Sai Sai doing wonderful work though. Yeah, but no one likes the toll booth. Still cost five. <laughs> and there's the ever prevalent Turn Poik. Turn Poik. Does he have a mimic in the bin? Uh, no, but it did have an Atman, but I don't think you want to install you don't it. Want, you don't want three. Okay. But no, there we go. Does what it needs to do. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, it's. I on, mean, what other ice is there? Exactly. Yeah, you are right. Yeah, it's on R and D at that point, and I don't think I don't think there's many other things you want to hit with that one in this deck. Mm. So, and it also hit. guarantees that you can get back in as well. Uh, yeah, it's seven credits for the run, isn't it? Mm, one, two, five, six. Yes. So, choosing his indexing cards, what we got? <laughs> So pondering here, maybe there's not an agenda on top, or maybe there's multiple. Or maybe there, there may be that one, and then he's just wondering, can he get back in that turn? I don't think he can. Oh, do you go back the turn after, yeah, and does exactly. any action install something, and then mandatory draw, so how far do you put it down? As well. Oh, yeah. So, I mean... I think, I, th I imagine Dylan was hoping for a, a cheaper R&D at this point. Yeah, that tall booth, like, unless you're bypassing it, is yeah. always going to be expensive. <laughs> yeah, he's not going back in. Now's the time you hit him with an RC and I and break. Break Ooh. the runner. Ugh. But we're on match point, aren't we? I think. Uh, no, he's only got four points. I thought he had another one. No. Well, Dylan hasn't has yet to steal yet, so. Mm -hmm. I think Phil's in a pretty good position at this point. Yeah, well, I, the, the runner just doesn't have enough economy. Or Parisia to deal mm. with all these assets. I think a, um, a shaper doesn't really worry about those assets. I mean, maybe DBS you have to worry about, but even then, it's still yeah, yeah. Because the shaper kind of prides themselves on having the answers for the ice. I am like yeah, shapers don't often care about how much money you've got. I think honestly, it's just the fact that he hasn't seen hasn't seen the SMC yet. Yeah. All that pro conning, and there's well, probably well, about halfway through his deck at this point. Got to imagine. And he's still got the memory to install it, so he would have installed. Oh, there, there we go. go. So he just needs uh, four credits, and the clock fit is real. Three credits. Three? She's Kate. Oh, he's Kate. Correct. Stimhack Arandy. So I expect there's an agenda Ooh. that is already placed there. And obviously going to res this ice because we've got Mumba Temple. Oof. Another turnpike. Oh, that's not too bad. Nine credits for the run. So that's the exact stim hack money. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how much did you have? 
Ka ching! Yeah. I imagine you put that, what, fourth, fifth card down? Levy goes with st uh, same old thing gone. I imagine he's running a second same old thing. Uh, but I mean, he's running He's running a fair few events in this, so I'd imagine he's running the, mm -hmm. the second one. I mean, honestly, that's, that's quite a key steal at that point, because like you said, he can, uh, Phil could have just used the Astro Cat on that Beal. He can clock threat though, can't he? Uh, oh, true, he has got the clock threat, yeah. But even if he's not running clock, he's got the clock threat. True, but then there's other, you know, I don't know. At that point, then you could just try and. It's just a Beal at the end of the day. You could just put it down, see if they, see if they clock, to clock you out. If they do, fine. It's just a Beal at the end of the day. He's only, he's only going to get on two points at that point. <sighs> True. It's still real though, in terms of the car. Like they've got to. Oh, they have to respect. They've got it. to be wary. Mm. And every every shaper was running clot at this point. Maybe not the case anymore, but uh, every shaper definitely was. Well, almost every shaper. Apart from Tom Siphon. Yeah, but that's got three Siphon. <laughs> You've got the influence for clot out of shaper, you ran it. Hmm. It's a tough one whether you run clot nowadays, because the main worry, if you don't run it, is <coughs> HP fast advance. Yeah. Basic labour on Jeeves. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jeeves. Ooh. Could be a problem because you often don't have them. Again, you don't have the money to deal with all the assets, the Jeeves and stuff. So you do rely on the clock threat to keep you in that matchup. So yeah. not having it would be very detrimental. I mean, honestly, a Jeeves. Uh, with the fact that now that NBN have less three for twos and they do actually have a decent suite of four for twos, mm. you may see any H decks that just run six HB cards and three Jeeves. Hmm. Which means they maybe can then... encrypted portal. Uh, oh, well, no. Yeah, I mean it'd be encrypted portals. Uh... Protocol, encrypted protocol. Yeah, sorry, Encry encryption protocols. Uh, what Eli Magnet? Yeah, and there's quite a few little. It's an easy cards. way to get to six. There's an easy way to get to six inference of HP stuff. Yeah, isn't it six HP cards? Yeah, but ideally you want that to be six one influence cards. Yeah, and you got Biotic Labor as well. Oh yes. Oh, there we go. So there's a clock in the bin, which is the place to be it if it was in your hand and you're not Haley. Mm -hmm. Got the clone chip down as well. I think he's only got. I'd imagine he's only running two clone chips. We got a lady in the bin as well in case any uh, barriers turn up, but probably not. I think you're, the only thing you're going to be facing out of NBA, out of any age is going to be wrap around that yeah. resistor and wrap around. Pretty much deals with those unless you're tagged. I mean, Inti deals with us. I know you mean. Other people might not have, Steve. You've got to correct me. Sorry. So, I'm really curious uh, what the cop's got in his hand after all this DBSing. Like, it must be pretty sweet. Like, it must have good cards. It's like Sensei's DBS. I mean, I think he's... So there's point... an Astro in hand. Ooh, okay. I mean, at this point, I think he's just trying to find the ice, the correct ice. Not the correct ice, just ice to put over R&D. Because let's face it, the win is going to come out of R&D. Mm -hmm. If he does have agendas in hand, though, I don't want to force the runner to come into your hand. <clears throat> no, this is true. I mean, that might be a cheeky Astro install there that he just did. I'd like that move if I was it was. Because he hasn't been checking remotes. He's not checked a single one. Ooh. So no clock. Huh. There, now we're on match point. Huh. I mean, I, I would have clocked. I don't. I don't know why didn't didn't just clock. Maybe just forgot mind blank. Maybe. I have no idea. Either that, or he's just gonna let. He doesn't care until he gets onto match point. Maybe. I mean that. I didn't see but what you got to down expect the CVS to be around, so you really want to do the clock early. So you, That's there, we, there we go, because you want that CVS used and in the bin. Yeah. At least it's gone now. But I think that's probably why he didn't clock. He didn't want to use the clone chip. He figured that was a CVS on the board, and so it didn't make any difference. He didn't want to waste the clone chip to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's worked out well. And the three credit hit on. Uh, well, there wouldn't have been a three credit hit because he was just literally used Mumbo Temple, so CVS is free at that point. Mm -hmm. 
but now he's got for raising cars. I know, right? Ooh, snipes a beal out of hand. I didn't expect that to be there. Well, and gets rid of that sensei. Yeah. yeah, sensei plus DBS is a little bit uh, crazy. Come on, Phil, show us what you got. That's a Sansan. Kind of irrelevant at this point. Pretty much. I think he took it, though. I'm not sure. I mean, you say that, yeah. I mean, it is still a tax on the runner. Throw it out there. <clears throat> Actually, a sand sand isn't a bad shout at this point, because that means all he needs to do is just put the sand sand down, and then if he finds a breaking news, he wins. Hmm. Because there's no opportunity for him to clock if you just shove that breaking news on the, on the sand sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Install Astro Counter Sun Sun does it work scar. Yep. Mm. So much bullshittery. Are we seeing if he's going to clock? I think he kind of has to, that's the problem. Yeah, I mean, you're not given a much choice. You're really not. But you have to, he's going to have to overwrite some things. Yep, there goes the SMC. Yep. <laughs> Finally found the SMC, gets rid of the SMC. Yep. Oh, cheating. What's in the notes <laughs> on his phone? <laughs> Someone's texting him information. <clears throat> I imagine that's probably just the sand sand going down, but you, yeah. you, you have to respect now that every single card could be an agenda. Mm. There's a fast track, a biotic labour, a Jackson in hand. I can't see the other card. Maybe a CVS, I'm not sure. Three CVS, I think that would be there. <clears throat> it's three CVS is not a bad shout. Yeah, like when Especially, you're allowed three Astro. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And when you when you kind of expect clot in every green deck. Mm -hmm. He spent one click, or has he got two? Has he got one click left? Um, I think he's still got two clicks because he just installed. Biotic Labour. Install. Install. Blood is a shenanigans. There's a Beal in hand. Or is that an explode? Oh, 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah, and then I think that was just a CBS installed with the Biotic Labour. Yeah, so is this game? I think it is. Giving the runner every opportunity here. And then, yeah, just CVS and win. One, two, three for the CVS. Yeah, sand, sand. Yeah. GG. Good games. This is what happens when Shaper doesn't see SMC for the first half of the game. Yeah, there's not a lot. Shaper could do at that point because I mean we, we popped two hyper drivers pro conned as much as possible <sighs> yeah. and still didn't see it that's, that's quite unlucky on Devon's part yep yeah so uh, that was... both players played fairly well as well it did and that's a bastard of an R&D to get in as well I mean potentially the only thing the runner like one of the best runner opportunities is HQ yeah but with all that DBS sensei bollocks like you you kind of assume that there's nothing. You in have there. to assume that he's not put, he's not keeping an agenda in hand unless he knows he can score it. Mm. But right, cool game, and we'll be back for round two. Say bye, Steve. Bye, Steve. Bye, Steve.